hey guys welcome back to my channel this video actually does already exist on my page if you're not a weekly vlog watcher i did want to upload this by itself because i feel like it's a good video to be by itself and i feel like i said a lot of good things that will be helpful for those of us in our 20s and trying to romanticize our 20s but yes if you want a little bit of context here basically i had been crying the night before or a few days before this i felt like i was sick and tired of people downplaying things that made me happy or made me feel special things that i felt were romanticized or should be romanticized for me like it's my journey it's my life and what i want to romanticize should be romanticized you know that kind of an idea and i was just really crying and you know getting into the moment and i had just moved into a new apartment my first one ever so the feelings were very strong on every forefront so you know this is just a little video that i feel like could be standalone but it was within my vlog it's in this one right here go watch that vlog because i feel like you can really see me going through the motions like the good the bad the ugly of just having your first apartment or just a, your first very big accomplishment but that's a little bit of context to what i might be talking about in the beginning but after that you know it's, it gets pretty general thank you guys for watching make sure to watch my vlogs they're really funny they're fun make sure to watch all my videos i feel like i put a lot of effort and energy into them and yeah thanks for watching enjoy this video hey guys so i wanted to check in because i know where we left things last last time it was just kind of like really sad really depressing and i think i think the overall consensus and the overall message with this journey and documenting this journey is that i'm just kind of feeling like i'm very proud of myself i'm very proud of who i'm becoming i'm proud of my accomplishments i'm proud of my regrets i'm proud of every step of the way of everything i've achieved and failed at. i feel like i feel like i'm coming from a place of just being just feeling sick and tired of what feels like people belittling my what, what's an achievement to me and i think the overall message is that don't let anybody make you feel like what you feel like is an achievement feel small or make you feel like you can't achieve the things that you want to achieve or that if you do achieve it that like that it's not that big of a deal like i understand to some people an apartment is just an apartment like it's just part of life it's just part of the process is just adulting for me it's much bigger than that and i'm going to continue romanticizing every part of my life because guess what we're not promised tomorrow we're not promised the next 30 minutes we were never promised yesterday like every day i wake up feeling gratitude literally for like every single thing and i think that's why for some people it doesn't make sense to them and i feel like this message will resonate more with mm, the people that I don't even want to call it romanticizing the little things, but it's just like, do you guys get what I'm trying to say? I don't know. I'm just, I'm tired of just being told that like, whatever it is that I'm experiencing, it's like, no big deal. Move on. Okay, girl, we get it. Like, I'm really sick and tired of this feeling that I feel like for many years has been an obstacle I've had to face with many different people. And... I don't know i'm not gonna let that be a thing anymore like if you feel like what i'm excited to celebrate is not that deep then you can think that that's fine but i think what you can see here and what you see on youtube is like it's just an expression of happiness it's you know the reason i'm so emotional just as a person period is because i feel like i feel things very deeply i feel everything to another degree you can call it a period you can call it being a virgo you can call it being an empath whatever you want to call it i just know i'm not going to change that part of me i feel like for so long people try to make me feel bad for that about that or make me feel like there's a problem with me like i don't think there's anything wrong especially in this time and age in this this generation this generation where people just feel the need to be so desensitized to things be so removed be so 
I don't, I've never understood it. I've never been that way. Um, and I'm a 97s baby. Like, I'm not, I'm not younger than you might think, or I'm not older than you might think, or whatever. I just think if something makes somebody happy, if something makes somebody emotional, just be there for them, you know? And this is the point of me coming on YouTube and showcasing what I showcase, um, documenting, storytelling, if you will, um, this journey that I'm on and, and trust and believe uh, there is so much I've wanted to show y'all that I cannot out of respect for people but so many times I feel like I've been backstabbed so many times I just wanted to come online and just say the truth and just be like I'm so fucking mad like this is really what happened this is really I it's every day it's a constant battle to wake up and be a better version of myself than I was yesterday and this is exactly the whole point of the YouTube I don't want it to be I don't want it to be clouded with the drama the the pain the 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 the, the hardships and I mean trust me like there was a lot there's a lot of people that are close to me and they know they know what the fuck I'm talking about and I've spared a lot of people that shouldn't have been spared that's all I have to say on that so really it's like I'm going to continue to document this journey I'm going to continue to boast about it I'm going to continue to be proud because the reality is I have been preparing for many years for this moment and I'll be damned if people are gonna make me feel like it's not that fucking serious and that it shouldn't be celebrated. Um, it's big to me. So, you know what I mean? And I'm doing this shit for the girls that feel like, like things like this, like just having your own place. For some people, it feels very unattainable. And for me, it felt, it just didn't feel realistic for so long because I was like, how do people do this? And when you realize you're stuck in this cycle that you know, without saying too much tea, but when you're in this cycle or in this head space or you've been convinced that um, you're not going to be able to do it without somebody else, um, by like without a certain somebody or you're not going to be able to do it because you're dreaming too big, you're not being realistic, you're, it's, it's just, it's always in a constant bullshit about like, oh, like, you're too hopeful, you're too emotional, you dream way too big, you have so much wisdom, like, is it do I have too much or do you have too little like what, what's really the problem you know and this is why I feel like I've always had a calling to come the fuck online and just present myself just be who I am I'm I'm annoyed sometimes I'm funny sometimes I'm sad sometimes like this is just me 1000% and I feel like I have since day one I've been somebody who has just tried to make it work with what I got and I feel like if I worked so hard to make it work with what I had and now I have more, why would I not celebrate that? That doesn't make any sense to me. So really, I'm going to be so candid with y'all. There are so many YouTube girlies. Like, I feel like I've, I mean, I've highlighted it a few times here and there where I watch their weekly vlogs. I watch When I watch other people's weekly vlogs, like, it gives me a few seconds to a few minutes of the day to step into somebody else's life to step into somebody else's perspective and really it's it's never been a thing about comparing but more so motivation inspiration observation where you you look to other people like i often feel like people don't understand what what weekly vlogs are for like what's the purpose what's the point okay girl you're on a camera opening up your amazon packages your pr like for the bigger accounts um you're showing us you bought a house you're showing us you're showing that i feel like social media and youtube is what you make of it and the content you consume and it's up to you to you're the master of your own life you are in charge of your own shit so if you come on i'm just going to use this this girl for example if you go on youtube and look at Aaliyah's face and you feel envy, you feel anger, you're like, I want this, I want that. I don't like how she comes on and she shows that she has a Bentley. Why aren't you motivated? Why aren't you inspired? Why aren't you encouraged to, to want more for yourself? And my whole point is, you know, I, I want to be able to provide that to other people. I know I'm not rich. I know I don't, can't afford a Bentley, but I know that I am rich in, in humor. 
I know that I'm rich in positivity, in passion, in introspection, if that's the right word for this context. I know I'm rich in abundance, in happiness, in tears, in joy. I know I'm rich in emotion. And if I could come on here and be me for a few minutes per week and make somebody feel anything positive, then that's what the fuck I'm gonna do. And that's what I'm trying to say is when I go online, like for example, when I started watching Monet McMichael, she was living with her mom, she was vibing, she was just doing, she was making a word with what she had, she was being herself, and that's just what the tea was. And you guys know, she blows up, she starts getting this money, people are like, oh my God, like she switched up. No, she made a word with what she had, she has what she has, and now, you know, life looks a little different for her. But she's going to continue to still be her fucking self. And I'm in no way comparing myself to these people, obviously, because I don't have brand deals. I don't have my own house. I don't have the things that they have. But my whole point is that I know that I'm here trying to bring a little bit of joy for somebody in the day. I make I make these videos because one I enjoy editing editing them. Editing is so much fun. It is very time consuming, so it gets a little frustrating for me because I I'm really good at multitasking. So when you edit, you it, there's no multitasking when you edit, and that's the only frustrating part. So I make videos for people that just feel like the very general shit in life that feels so hard to attain. Like, do you guys see the economy right now? Do you, like, it, it is very hard for some people right now to get their own car, to, and I'm not talking about leasing, getting a used car, which you guys have seen me go through ups and downs with that, affording groceries, um, being able to take care of your needs. Everything is expensive right now, and that's what I come onto YouTube for, not just, not, not just as a poster, but as a viewer to watch other things, to be entertained by other people, to be motivated by other people and know that one day we you know i can achieve that we're all capable of achieving what we wish for if we put in the time and the hard work and the energy of course when society and the economy all this is working against you then yes it becomes difficult and i feel like for me that the truth can be said on that but of course of course of course of course when you have a partner teaming up with you that's what also helps make it realistic you know what i mean so I'm never ever going to erase that fact as well. So my point is, though I was really sad in that last clip, like towards in this vlog, I was just dealing with imposter syndrome because when somebody or something tells you for so long you cannot achieve certain things um, and that you are not capable, it starts to feel true and that's just the facts. And I think, I think people really don't put any focus on or any understanding into how hard it is to master the ability to trust yourself like you you think you're just like oh yeah i trust myself like when you really think about it do you really and i feel like when i first moved in here the first month it just felt like i can't do this like what those people were telling me it's true i can't do this this is a lot i can't possibly manage this and what i realized after some weeks is like I can do this. I literally, I'm literally capable. Like, if everybody else is capable, why aren't you? You know what I mean? And one thing about me is I'm a planner. And I'm like, you've literally been planning for this your whole life. You just need to take a chance and trust yourself and know you need to be put into the situation and you will see that you can trust yourself and that you can do it. And if your plan doesn't work out, there's always a plan B. And when I realized that, I was like, oh, like, everything is not always just so fucking black and white and so harsh. And guys, I've been through so many therapists because, like, they end up just quitting. Not because of me, like, just because they don't like the practice. For so long, like, they really wanted me to understand that everything is not black and white. Because for me, it felt like, well, if this doesn't work, then that's just it. And I wish I could call every single one of them and tell them, like, guys, I feel like I'm free. Like, I feel like I like I cracked the code. Like, I feel like I understand now. And so, with all that being said, I feel like nobody really talks about um, the journey and the process of just living by yourself. And I'm doing this because you guys want to live with my fucking partner. But that's besides the point, like... It's still his experience, it's still my experience. Like, we live 
when we're here by ourselves and the other one's working or vice versa, we're here by ourselves. So this is a journey. This is a shared journey, but it's a, your journey nonetheless. And I feel like I'm really proud of myself and I'm not gonna let anybody make me feel like this is really not that fucking serious and I need to move on and just not make a big deal of it. Oh, I'm gonna make a big deal of it. A big deal of this, when I um, have kids, when I get married, um, when I get a new pet, when anything I do, I'm gonna celebrate it. I really don't, you know, I'm tired of being humble or keeping it cute. Like, I'm just tired of that. And I really wanna maximize this journey and this new experience. And there's just little things throughout this whole thing that I'm like, I know I'm not the only one that feels this way. Like how I felt in that last clip and it just all hit me at once and it just felt like surreal and, and what have you. I don't care what people say about renting. This feels like it's mine. Obviously, I pay somebody else for it. But it's the same shit. You have a house, you pay a mortgage, you're paying to the whoever it is. What is it, the state? I don't fucking know. This ain't the home homeowner era. This is the apartment life era. So, I'm going to continue making these videos for those girls who want to watch somebody like me. Maybe they don't want to see people with big shit like Bentleys and, and whatever. New York Fashion Week, that's fine. Like, it's no shade to those girls. Um... I'm doing it for whoever, really. And I'm doing it mostly for me. You think I'm recording all this and I don't wanna watch it back when I'm older? Of course I do. Hello? And one thing about me is I'm gonna capture a memory or two. So I'm gonna keep cheering myself on. I like There was like 10 years ago or seven where I remember I was so down. And I said, at the end of the day, who do you wanna make sure is cheering you on at the end of the finish line and that's all who I saw was me you can take that with whatever you want you know so I don't care if that offends people I don't care whatever it does but that's just the fact of the matter that's what I'm doing this for that's why I'm showcasing these vulnerable moments and I feel like that's why you have to show it too because I feel like no this experience is not that fucking simple you know what I mean? Even when I went to college, it was it was a lot of emotions. I'm like, oh, like, oh, I'm in a dorm. Like, this is like, you know? So, with all that being said, it's like, there's just even little things where I'm like, oh, right. I This is my place. Like, I can, I can do that. Like, this is, I'm allowed to do that. There's just so many, like, the smallest things, guys. It'll be like, oh, right. I can do that. Because this is my place. And it's such a bittersweet, bittersweet feeling. It's so refreshing. It's so, you know, it's sweet. And like I said, I'm not going to minimize my experience to make somebody else comfortable. I'm making this content for those girls who maybe they're 18, maybe they don't have enough money in their bank account, and they're like, oh my God, like, is this even real? Is this even going to be achievable? Yes, it will be. Yes, it will be. Don't let the fact that I live with my partner deter you from that. Because two, we, who's to, first of all, not even to put you on our business, how do y'all know that this is, this is something that I could do by myself? Right? How do you know that, what if we needed three people to do this? Like, I'm just making y'all think outside of the box. But all, what I'm really trying to say is anything is achievable when you really try to find a way to make it happen. And, I mean, I know I could make it happen with or without him, too. Of course, that's not me throwing slander at him or whatever. But, you know, we're a couple. We're trying to achieve marriage and, you know, the next phases in life. So that's, like, out of the question. It's achievable. And I just want to inspire girls out there to dream big and to not feel ashamed of wherever they are in life. You know what I mean? All I ever felt when I lived with my boyfriend was gratitude. You know, I was basically with a different family and, you know, they allowed me the opportunity to prepare myself for the future. I never felt ashamed. There was limitations because obviously it's not my house, but it's like I was me and they accepted me for that. And I want to continue to be me here on YouTube and I know y'all will accept me for that. 
But not only that, I want to show you that being you will take you far. It will take you to the places you want to go. So thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one.